So on the 153 manual here, guys, uh, page 19, it actually tells you the process for how to get into the, uh, the firmware uh, load mode of operation. I think I mentioned um, press the buttons at the same time. It actually tells you to press the OK button first, followed by while holding it, press the power button. I kind of buggerized that in the video a wee bit, but just be aware it does detail it in the manual. And uh, be aware uh, you have to have a Windows 10 computer um, in order to carry out the uh, the upgrade. Um, I don't know about this notation here, but holding the power button, I, I didn't need to do that. So I'm not really into computers and software and stuff. I'm barely functional in the modern world, guys, but I'll try to struggle through this. Um, some of you guys will recall that I had some grief with my Fenir CDSO 153 when I was trying to get um, a fuel injector waveform on screen. It was a miserable failure. Um, and I was doing some bitching about that in the last video I'd done on this. Um, one of the guys was nice enough uh, to mention um, that there is a firmware update. Software update. Um, the current version that they have available on the website, and I'll show you the website in just a second and how to navigate it, is uh, version 1.6. Now I have version 1.5. So I'm gonna to attempt to update this. I'll either um, buggerize it completely and turn this thing into a brick or we'll get it updated. But honestly, I suspect that it's not gonna make a great deal of difference, guys. I think this is a fundamental issue with the hardware as opposed to a software issue. But uh, I hope it proves me wrong. Uh, so let's go through the motions here. So you can see I'm in settings uh, and I've scrolled down to about and it gives you the listing for the version just so you know where to find that. Um, the Fernier C website, Fernier C com has the ability to select downloads so bear with me guys as I try to navigate through this it's a wee bit weird um, well maybe not so weird maybe I, I'm just you know not that great at this kind of stuff it gives you the option for uh, under notice download manuals uh, download firmware let's go for firmware so some devices here that veneer C cells will come up um, where would you think oscilloscope that's what I would think, especially considering DSO 152 is listed there. But we're interested in the 153 in this instance, right? And it's no listed, so I thought, oh, I don't know. Don't know what the story is. Um, keep going. Functional devices. DSO 153 is strangely listed under functional devices, right? And you can see version 1.6 is, in fact, available there. I don't know what this is. I don't know where that suffix on the file name means i have no idea what that means guys right but let's see if we can load it so i've actually already gone through this um i've kind of buggerized it so i'm refilming it guys but i've actually already done the download click the uh, item there it's in my download files here and uh, you can see uh, i liked it so much i downloaded it um a couple of times and 39 minutes ago. So why the long delay in me getting to this portion of the, the video? I reasoned that if I hook up the interface cable here, uh, you know, into the, into the side of the unit that the computer would recognize it as a device or a drive of some sort and away you go. No, no such luck. Nothing at all would come up on the computer. You have to actually do them both at the same time. I'm gonna try and do this with one hand, guys. It's no easy there we go and you go in a this screen here firmware upgrade that must be the drive downloads there's the file Sorry guys, I'm a wee bit cumbersome with this, as you can see. Uh, I'll try to drag this into the drive. Where'd it go? Shit. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me see if I can figure out where the hell this is. It went. Okay, there it is. Copy, 
to that drive, I guess. Some arms. Oh yeah, just rebooted the, uh, I don't know if you caught that there guys. You might have, um, let me go to the about here. See if it's upgraded to the new. Version. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, this is a. <laughs> I guess you can ignore that because obviously it, uh, it did actually. Yeah, I have no idea. There's no. There's no documentation, guys, telling you what this does. Uh, I interrupted my thought there, but see if the upgrade actually makes any difference with respect to trying to capture the fuel injector uh, waveform. Right. That's it, boys. I hope this helped somebody. Cheers.